Hello everyone, my name is Will Nobest. I'm currently the instructor for CSIT 174 TCP IP Infrastructure at Miracosta College. Today uh, I'd like to help you guys better understand um, uh, zone delegation and for this exercise we're going to go into a sub-delegation. So um, the three main reasons that you would want to um, delegate a zone uh, is when you would want to delegate the management of part of your DNS namespace to another location or department in your organization. The second is to that you might want to divide a large zone into smaller zones um, to distribute traffic loads among multiple servers and improve uh, DNS name resolution performance or create a more fault tolerant DNS environment. Um, and you also may want to extend the namespace by adding numerous subdomains at once, for example, to accommodate opening a new branch or site. So we're going to go over that last one, which is to create a new branch or site um, in a subdomain. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our forward lookup zone. We're going to click on the domain name, um, and we're going to right-click on it and select new delegation. We're going to click next. We're going to call this delegated subdomain sub. We're going to click next. Now since this is fake, this isn't going to work um, correctly, but we will call it um, ns1.sub, which is name server one for that subdelegation, chimera Dot, dot. And we're going to give it an IP address, which is 192.168, I'm just making this up, 99.34. We're going to hit OK. And that's going to point um, to that particular subdelegation, uh, that subdelegation's name server. We're going to click Next and Finish. If we open this up, there's not going to be a whole lot that's going to be in there, but it will point to um, that subdelegation, and if we had one, um, you would see host populate. And that's the end of this video. Uh, please leave your questions or comments in the space provided below.